Well, alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Terroir. And in the last episode, we got ourselves up to $318,924, as you can see. I have the pest control, which it looks like I need to use, or the, fr the fruit fly control. So I need to use the fruit flies on my Chardonnay. Uh, which one is that? Just that one, or both of these? Just this one for now. I need to use my pesticide treatment on. Cost zero dollars, which is nice. So I've used that. I'm paused right now because I'm trying to remember exactly where we left off. I really want to invest in getting a tavern, but I don't know how to do that yet uh, because I don't own any good places for a tavern right now. I own all these places that are loams and forests, and I don't have an option to pick for another one to build. I'm going to have to re-roll or purchase something out to the side. I'm thinking about trying to get my uh, another clay and get some more Merlot planted. Do I have another clay one out here on the edge that would open up some more stuff? Uh, hold on, I need to trim really quick. Close this. Where are we at? We're in April. So yeah, let's make sure we trim down so I can get some ripeness on these guys. And then look for a, another clay. There's another clay one right there. That would open up some stuff over here, which might not be a bad thing to do. Oops. Got you, got you. Oh, there's more rain coming in. These are going to be overgrown here momentarily. Yeah, that one's overgrown. So it's dropping my ripeness down. I have to double click on that guy. I need to actually bring these all the way back. Oh, I got a fungal rot. Yes. Let's see if I can get rid of that fungal rot by dropping these back all the way, which I think I have to do anyways. It's also been a few days since I played, so remembering how to do all this stuff is going to be uh, take a little bit of time again. That's a clay one over here, and that would open up a lot over here. I'm thinking with 399,000, let's do it. Let's add another tile. It costs 75 grand, which is a lot of money, but it'll open... No, it won't. I thought it would open up stuff over here. Which it did not do, and now I'm at a 7 and a 5. My Merlot is okay to get a little bit higher. That's a little too much. I don't like the fact that that thing sunburned, and now, of course, I'm not going to run into anything that is good. Uh, I'm going to be able to fix the shard. I don't know about the... crap. Yeah, let's just harvest it. I'm going to have to fix that Chardonnay. Uh, oh no, the Chardonnay actually did not turn out to be too bad. This thing is terrible because one star is going to be deducted from it. The Chardonnay actually turned out to be okay. And what did I want for a good Chardonnay? The... Oh, I didn't mark down what my reviewers were. My Chardonnay... Why do I have it marked that I have a cab? No, I've just been working with Chardonnay. Okay, because that was in my previous one. So, 332, maybe I didn't save this file last time, I might not have some of my new stuff in here. Uh, but that's, I want to get a 6566 six, six, or a 6666. Six, six. So, 6566 six, six with this. Uh, so, we know these are fine, whatever. Let's go through and crush them. Uh, should I use my other crushing method? Yeah, we're just going to crush them with both of these things. Crush the grapes. I might actually unlock the other vats as well, just for fun to do something a little bit different. And I can ferment these, uh, decreases the sweetness by one. I want my sweetness in this to go down to a five, so let's do a six weeks on that one. And the Merlot, I need, I think I need a full two months on the Merlot. Nah, you know, let's do six weeks on the Merlot as well. What was my Merlot? I don't even have a Merlot tab on here. Like, so I definitely didn't save the sheet, which is annoying. That was my own, my own fault and stupidity. So I'm going to have to be kind of starting this thing over again. Was it a Merlot? Didn't I have a Sauvignon Blanc going on at some point? Because that was my last thing. Man, I really am uh, out of practice at this already. So now we're back to this. I don't want to buy that. Let's wait for the fermentation to finish. So we're kind of starting a new territory again, just because I didn't rewatch my last video to keep that like in check right now. I gotta see when I need to plant this as well. So for this one, for the Chardonnay, if we're going for a 6656, 
The tannins need to come down by a lot, so I need to increase my acidity. And remember, I can do a one in three now with that different barrel, or a one in two. And if I want to get down to a five, I need to do actually a three to two. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> so let's go. What if we go six, 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 six? So if I take this up just by adding zero percent acidity, actually, because then I'll drop the acidity by one to drop the tannins by three. Uh, that'll bring it down to a seven after one month, or I could do it twice by adding 10% and just doing it. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to put the shard just in the normal bear. Oh, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're going for something different. This one, however, on the other hand, I really need to drop those tannins down as well. Those tannins are really increased in there. Uh, I really need to drop those tannins down as well. My acidity is uh, so low right now, I kind of need to bring my acidity almost up to uh, an 8 to drop it down. If I put that in the, the steel ones as well, seven yeah well why not let's try it let's try something a little bit different even though i know the merlot so let's so, go so i'm gonna unlock the stainless steel vat i can't do the white oak yet even though it's normally used for whites we're gonna use it for both and uh we're gonna put them both in there because then i think they just need to go for for one month and it is november right now so in december we're gonna have a slightly different wine than we've ever had before so let's find out here. This one's already, we're going to lose stuff on that, we know. So we're at a 6576 six for my shard. So let's go 65. I don't have any 6576s. Six so this is also new territory. Uh, we're going to bottle this one. Uh, this is my shard, so it needs to get corked. Get into a, get into a fancy little white bottle there. And this one we are going to call... So I hope these things are up to date, and I'm not sure if they are, but hey, DJ. Through, uh, 730s. Chardonnay, 2032. And we also are going to bottle this one with a uh, cork. We'll leave it in that. This is my Merlot. That could be really bad. So, Italia, this one's for you. Let's hope. Here's to praying. Bottle both of these up. We're going to organize a, uh, a tasting with my 6576. Six, and we are going to go all the way up to... We're just going to go four stars across the board. 6576. Six, invite to tasting. It is a four-star wine. I am actually okay with that. So it's a four-star wine. Nothing special about it. But that will be a fantastic wine. And now I need to go also into my organized tasting for the 7777 Merlot. So 7777 Merlot. Let's organize the tasting here. And you know what? Let's go for broke. Let's find out, like, really hone in on where we're screwing this thing up at. That is a two-star wine. So this wine is not going to be uh, four-star reviewers, two-star wine. Go done. We're basically going to sell that thing over to those people who don't want anything. So this thing is going to go... Uh, oh, damn, I'm selling it for a lot more than I thought I was going to. Let's go 1,000, 1,000, and 940 across the board here. Pretty even distribution. And then we're going to go to this one. We are going to sell this one to uh, the trash supplier. He only buys it for $6.39 a bottle. Ugh, that kind of hurts. But I think I need to get rid of that wine. Um, you know what? Let's not get rid of that wine. We will sell it afterwards uh, when, when I'm able to... When those guys sell out of that wine that I just gave them. We're going to sell that afterwards and see if it actually even sells. Just to one distributor, we'll give them it all. See if it hurts our rating at all. Are these like sheep in there? Big rocks? That seems sad. Nice sunny day. And now I can plant over here. And I'm going to plant my Merlot again. Even though I'd kind of love to go plant my Pinot Noir. But then I'm... Then I'm dealing with three different ones. Should I do that? Should I do a Pinot? You know what? I'm going to go my Merlot and my Pinot that I'm experimenting with. So, that's happening. We'll find out how this actually goes with my Merlot and my Pinot. So, well, I wish I wish the game didn't, um, didn't 
didn't stop when I when I go over to my spreadsheet here. I wish it kind of still ran in the background because I'm going to go Pino, get that tab all ready. Also get over to my Chardonnay tab and see where we're at. And uh, somebody's open to sell already, which is nice because I can go in this basement and kind of see. Where can I sell this to? They will buy all 600 from me. Let's see how bad this actually sits there. It is March. If I hurt my distributor rating at all as well. So I just sold all 600 bottles to that guy. But we're going to see how uh, terrible this actually goes. And now I also don't know where Pinot should be in the ripeness scale. Because it seems like the Merlot can get a little bit harder hit than the Chardonnay. But I'm not 100% certain that that's completely accurate. I should also start researching some more stuff. Let me look at what I can actually research. Uh, let's put that away. Let's see what I can research. I have 18 Renown is all I have. The pesticide treatment, but I already have this, so I don't need to do that anymore. Fast harvest. Harvesting is no walk in the park. Hiring some extra help with it will fasten the, or hasten the process, especially once you have explained your vineyard a fair bit. All grapes in your vineyard are harvested at a faster rate. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Harvesting was never something that took me too much time, which is... What I kind of don't understand, you're going to have 10% more yield during the next harvest. It can only be done while vines are not active. So this is only for the next harvest, and I need my Chateau to level 3 to even unlock that. Trim foliage. This is one I kind of like. Canopy management is crucial to a successful harvest with a larger vineyard. You need to help trimming down your vines, especially after the rainy season. All vines of the same variety as one targeted will have their leaves trimmed. I kind of like this. It's only cost 5 renown. Takes three months to research. We are going to research that. I have a I have a decent chunk of money in there that we can uh, deal with that for. And we're going to see if that is helpful at all. But keep in mind that it's May. So let's get these all trimmed really quickly. Oh my god. See, look. They're already like... Trim. Damn it. I know you have a little wait time between these uh, trimming sessions, but sometimes it just seems to take forever. I have fungal rot, but no fruit flies in my Merlot and my Pinot. So let's uh, trim these completely back. Oh, by the way, that two-star wine actually would have been a three-star wine uh, because it did have fungal rot. Oh, no, it's not sunburn. It had sunburn. So that's something that's good to know. Now everybody has this fungal rot, so my yield is going to be garbage. I don't want these things to get... So it's already August. My ripeness is super low. I don't want these to get sunburned, but I want them to actually ripen up some. So there we go. We're at threes at least. Threes is not much, but threes is something. Here we go. Oh, that cost $3,000 to do that trimming everything. Is that $3,000 a pop? Well, maybe that's not going to be nearly as worth it right now. I do not have the need to, uh, oh god, except for it would help right now. I'm waiting because I need these things to get a little bit riper here. October, I have until November to be able to harvest here. My ripeness is not going up at all yet. Oh, this ripeness is terrible. This is going to be painful. Fives, okay. We are in November. I better harvest right now in November. So 6576 was a four star. So I wonder if 6566, what that would be. That Wow, look at that. Excellent management. Excellent management. Excellent management. They all became the exact same, which is kind of weird. So... If I want to get this thing to a 6566, and I don't know if this thing helps to get the, the better crusher at all. I think it just goes faster, right? Crushing was never something that really took that long, though, so it's the next one. Motorized crusher. Need to get to level 3 to unlock that, so... Yeah, crushing is not a super long process, so I'm not really sure how beneficial this is, but... Okay, so... If I want this to be a 657... Or, excuse me, 6566... Which I know does well with at least some ratings. It got me a 5-star Ryan. 6566. Six, six. 
Um, so tannins are at eight right now, so I need to drop them by two, which is fine. So I just need to increase my, yeah, I just need to increase my acidity by a little bit. So I can less than two weeks for that one. My Merlot seven 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 was a two star review. So let's try. Let's try to get it to the exact same thing, and it's going to go to a six five six six. Yeah, six five six six for that as well. My Pinot, why, let, you know what? Let's get them all to a 6566 six, six, because we're in kind of new territory for some of this stuff. Um, so we will try to find out what we can do. So if I go up to six, I need to bring this up to a seven. So I need to add 20% juice to all of these. Bring that up to a seven. I'm going to put them in French oak barrels for a month. Because I want just one month worth of fermentation on these guys so it's December so come November I have three varieties going on here or come January did I do that right yeah one month old six 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 why did that go to a six I must have changed my my body or my sweetness I needed to I needed to age them for a month. I screwed that up. So we already know a 6666 will get us a 5 star review on 3, 3, and 2. So what if I bottle this guy with a cork? We are going to call you the uh, the Constant Sorrows. Chardonnay. It is going to go in this white bottle. We're going to bottle this Merlot into this red bottle. This will be uh, Mike Spam TF2s. I think I already did Mike Spam. But you know what? You get another beer named after or another beer. Another, uh, another wine named after you right now. And we're going to bottle this brand new one. It's the Pinot Noir, which I've never done before. So Pinot Noir is a white... We'll go in the weird white bottle, just so I keep these a little bit separate here. And this is going to be... Martin W93's Pinot Noir 2033. So bottle these babies up. And now is when it is on. So 6666 is across the board. I need to know. And I'm going to organize the tasting for you. And I'm going to give you to a for some four-star people. Because you've already done decent at the low rating. Five-star wine. 6666 with four-star people is a five-star wine. You are amazing. We'll solve that in a minute. We're going to organize tasting for this 6666. Again, let's go with some four-star reviewers. And this is what my, uh, my Merlot... Four-and-a-half-star review. So four star reviews is a four and a half star review, and is that, that can't be the same for my uh, Pinot Noir, can it? Can I jump right up to four star reviewers and get an amazing Pinot Noir? Oops, I tried to invite too many people. No. Okay, Pinot Noir. What are they gonna say about this thing? Uh, four star reviewers gave it a one. So that is a Terrible, terrible, terrible wine. So, let me take a look here. What do they say? I never knew a Pinot Noir could taste so horrendous. Well, there's a first time for everything. And next time around, let's hope the winemaker either tries an easier varietal or does better. So, this is just straight up trash. This one is not going to get... Well, it's going to get sold. I'm going to sell it to those uh, really crappy people. Let's sell... Uh, let's start by selling this one. I lost a lot with this guy. He is not the guy that bottled those bottles, but he was really pissed off at me for, uh, let's do 312 to you and 360 to you. That didn't make any sense. And 168 to you? No. We'll do 312 to you for now. That is it. Okay, good. You guys are still good. Done. We will take my good wine. We're going to sell it. You sell it for $97.08 a bottle. Um, that's pretty decent, but I'm going to give you a thousand 
and you 920 because you're selling it for more. And we're going to sell all of that wine out and then we're going to go done and we're going to go over here and we're going to sell out of this one star. We're just going to sell it to Krupp and say, have my crappy wine at $9.96 bottle. You go for it. And uh, this I still have to sell when something opens up. So that did not work out nearly as well as I thought. But what we have is what we call information. So I just saved that file so I can make sure it doesn't not get saved this time. And we got to try to run through another season here and see if we can kind of perfect some wine going on. So now I'm wondering, do I do the 6666? Let me go over here to my shard. 6666 was the four star review, or was a five star review, whereas the Merlot was a four and a half. So I have to do something a little bit different with the Merlot to make that actually worth anything. I'm ready. Somebody's open, so now I'm gonna go to my wine cellar. I'm going to sell these guys, the rest of them, to, I have 168 bottles. Only the one guy will buy 168 for me. So can I do 50? And 120 or 118? I split them like this because you're still waiting to sell because people didn't like that wine as much apparently. So that'll get rid of the rest of those bottles. We have these things out and ready to rock here. I don't want to jinx myself, but I didn't get invested with any parasites or anything last time. It was all just... It was all just uh, good canopy management. Really? Really? I have to slow it back down to do the trimming right on this stuff. Oh my god, how much rain is there? They all have fungal rot, so I'm going to try to trim them all the way back. See if I can get rid of that fungal rot. Oh, I was not going slow at all. I thought I was going slow. I apparently did not go slow. So I might be ruining some of this wine. Okay, got rid of the fungal rot. Okay, right now we're looking good. If I can get a little bit more ripeness... I'm going to hold out for just a little bit more ripeness. I don't think I'm going to get that ripeness. Let's just do it. Let's see what happens in this particular harvest. So 6666 I'm going for with my Chardonnay. My Merlot, I'm going to go with like a 7666. Or should I go 5? I'm going to go 5666 on this one. Pinot Noir, I have no idea what I'm going to do with yet. So let's do, let's crush them in the good crusher. Crushing the good crusher. Crushing the good crusher. Alright, so I'm going to acidity. 6666. I need my sweetness to decrease. So I don't want this. I don't I don't want my sweetness to decrease. So stay less than two weeks. This one. 6666 was not good. So if I do 6656, I'm going to leave that at a 5. Okay, we'll leave that there. My Pinot. Pinot probably. Pinot Noir. Is it sweet? I think I would say it's sweet. So I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to do that at all. But if I want this one to be a 6666, it's pretty easy. I add 20% uh, to this one. Merlot, I want to get to a 6566. Six, six. I can't really get there. But what I can do is add... Yeah, let's keep the acidity down, actually. This will put it up to a... This will bring it back to a 4 if I let the tannins go down 2 to 5. So it's going to be like 4555. Five, five. Let's try that. 4555. Five, five. This one, I don't even know what I was going to do with this Pinot Noir. If I make sure it's not acidy at all and bring my tannins down by a month. So I think if I let everything go for a month in a standard old French oak barrel. Or should I put my Pinot in a... Uh, if I put the Pinot in a stainless vat, tannins decrease by three. 
Why not? It's new wine. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, so let's see now. I got my 6666 again with a buttery for price as well as that. So we know this one's going to be good. So let's bottle this one. As you know, we're going to cork it. This one is going to be... I did Martin W. last time, right? So... Uh, shipping Chardonnay. Uh, sorry, this was a white bottle. I'm going to bottle this Merlot. And this is another new kind of experimental one. A little off. So, Makalua. Makalua. Makaluas. In a cork. And we're going to bottle this crazy one. And this one is going to be... Peter Halfus. You now have a Pinot Noir named after you. Whether it's any good or not, I don't know. Let's do that one. And now we have our bottles. So, do we dare organize a tasting of a 6666 wine with five-star reviewers? There it is, folks. The Chardonnay. Straight up. 6666. Five-star reviewers. Five-star rating. It is also buttery and exceptional. That is the wine of champions right there. Now we look at the Chardonnay. No, no, sorry, I was like, that was our Chardonnay. Now we look at the Merlot, a 4555 five, five Merlot. This is way different. And I probably shouldn't have gone that far off because four star reviewers gave the last one a four and a half. I don't think they're gonna give this one a four and a half. We are gonna stick with four star reviewers on this one though and realize that they do not like that. Four stars, so two. So I can kind of extrapolate from that what I did wrong, I'm pretty sure. But let's see if we did turn around on the Peter Hothis and his Pinot Noir. Did I do the four-star reviewers in the last one? I did, didn't I? We're just sticking with these four-star reviewers. That was even worse. Mr. Hothis, I apologize, but nobody likes your wine. So, 4655 of the Pinot. Four star reviewers and a one. Man, I am way off in that Pinot. Um, I'm going to basically. I'm going to sell this one because it's a really good wine that people are going to. I mean, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous wine. This should make everybody, like, happy. Uh, right across the board. Oh, I can't do 3,000. You can just only buy 3,000, 1,500, and you're going to get 500 just to keep your reputation up. We're going to sell that. We're going to go done. Uh, I almost wonder if it's worth it, too. If I can sell this to uh, Krupp here. Is it even worth it? I don't even know if that's worth it. 840 bottles. I don't think it is. I'm just going to discard it. Uh, 840. Discard it all. Confirm. Discard. All you, all you, all you bottles. You have been discarded. You are gone. Because I don't like you at all anymore. And the people don't like you either. That's why they gave you a one. Well, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if uh, you want a wine name after you, for as long as the series goes, I'm going to go through the comments. Whoever comments, you get a wine. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.